I will welcome you guys uh, in the lesson number 48 for grade 2 mathematics. Uh, what we are studying nowadays, we are studying about multiplication with regrouping of two digit and three digit number by a single digit. So, I will revise one or two questions for multiplication uh, with regrouping and what we did in the last class. Then we will start three digit number multiplication by a single digit number with the grouping and we will complete the book question related to this topic. So on page number 54, we did one of the examples uh, that's 46 multiplied by two here in the practice session. Guys, when you multiply 46 by two, when you multiply two digit by a one number, so you have to multiply always the number by ones first. So this is two by six. Whatever the answer will be, you will write in the ones column. So two multiplied by six equals to what? You will check the table of two, two by one, two, two by two, four, two by three, six, two by four, eight, two by five, 10, and two by six, 12. So two by six equals to 12. In 12, there are two digits, one and two. So in 12, there is one 10 and two one. So what you are going to do here, you will only write here once, which is two, and the tens you will regroup to the tens. So this will be one times. Now what you will do now, you will multiply this two by four. So two multiply by four equals to what? Two by one, two. 2 by 2, 4, 2 by 3, 6, and 2 by 4, 8. In 8, you will add that one, which you give carry. So 8 plus 1 equals to 9. So there will be total 9 tens. In that way, the answer will be 92. Again, I repeat, guys, you multiply 2 by 6. 2 multiply by 6 once equals to 12 once. 12 ones means 1 10 and 2 ones. So you write 2 here, 1 you regroup here. Now you multiply this 2 by 4 tens. You multiply by 4 tens equals to 8 tens. But here 1 10 is already there, which you give carry. So in 8 10, you will add that 1 10 and that will become 9 10. So 46 multiplied by 2 will be equals to 90. On page number 55, we have one more example. You can look here. 57 by 4, in 57 by 4, you will follow the same method as I, uh, I told you. You will multiply the number by 1s first. So this is 4 and this is 7. So you will multiply 7 by 4. 7 ones by 4 ones equals to 28. 28. In 28, there are also 2 digit, 2 tens and 8 ones. So you will only write once here and tens you will regroup in the tens. Now you will multiply this 4 by 5. 4 by 1, 4. 4 by 2, 8. 4 by 3, 12. 4 by 4, 16. And 4 by 5, 20. When you multiply 5 tens by 4 tens is equals to 20 tens. In 20 tens, you will have to add this 2 10, which you give carry. So 20 plus 2 is equals to 22. So you will write here 22. So the answer you will get that will be 228. 7 by 4 ones equals to 28 ones. 28 ones means 2 10 and 8 ones. 8 once you write here, 2 tens you regroup here, then 4 multiplied by 5 is 20. In 20 you add this 2 and that becomes 22. Let's come to the practice zone of uh, page number 55. Here 49 multiplied by 2. So 9 multiplied by 2 equals to 18. In 18, 2 digits, 1, 10, 8, 1. 8, 1 right here, 1 right here. 1 gift carry. Now 2 multiplied by 4 equals to 8. In 8, when you add 1, it will become 9. So 49 multiplied by 2 equals to 98. For B, 27 multiplied by 3. Multiply 3 by 7 once first. 3 by 7 equals to 20. 
one. In twenty one, there are two tens. One one. One one. You write here. Two ten. You regroup here. Then multiply this three by two tens. Three multiplied by two tens equals to six tens. In six ten, you will add this two tens. So six plus two equals eight. So you will write eight here. In the same way, you will complete question number one C and one D. So, guys, up to here, any problem? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. That's very good. So, let's move to the next page, which is page number fifty-six, guys. Here we are going to learn multiplication. Of three-digit number by a single-digit number with regroup. Okay, so this is on page number fifty-six, guys. On page number fifty-six, please open it. Page number fifty-six. The topic is multiplying three-digit numbers with regroup. So, guys, no matter you are multiplying single digit by a uh, two, uh, multiplying three-digit number by a single digit. Or two-digit number by a single digit, or four-digit number by a single digit. Okay, the method will be same, the technique will be same, the concept will be same. So this is one hundred and forty-five multiplied by three. So one hundred and forty-five multiplied by three. When you talk about three digits, that's in three places. One hundred, four tens, and five ones. So the method will be same, guys. What you have to do, you always multiply the number by ones first. So this three you will multiply five first. Three multiplied by five equals to what? Three by one, three. Three by two, twelve. Three by three, uh, three by one, three. Three by two, six. Three by three, nine. Three by four, twelve. And three by five, fifteen. Three by five equals to fifteen. So in fifteen there are Two digits in fifteen. There are two digits, one ten and five ones. So, what you will do now? I should write here in fifteen. There is one ten and five ones. So you will write only once here, which is five, and the tens you will regroup with the tens, which is one. Now, after multiplying by three by ones, you will multiply three by tens. So three multiplied by four tens is equal to what? So three by one, three, three by two, six, three by three, nine, and three by four, twelve. Three by four. Twelve. So in uh, twelve, you will add this one. In twelve, you will add this one. Three by four, twelve, ten. Twelve plus one, thirteen. In twelve, you will add one, and that will become thirteen. So thirteen, three you will write here, and one you will write on the hundreds. Thirteen tens you will regroup as one hundred and three tens. Now finally you will multiply this three by hundreds. So three by one three. Uh, in three when you add one, you will get four. So one hundred and forty-five multiplied by three is equals to four hundred and thirty-five. How? I repeat, guys. You multiply. Five ones by three ones first. Five ones by three ones equals to fifteen ones. So you regroup fifteen ones into one ten and five ones. Five one you write here. One ten you regroup with the tens. Now, after adding one ten to the tens column, you will multiply four ten by three ten. This is three and this is four. So three by four equals to twelve. In twelve, when you add one, that will be equals to thirteen. It is equals to thirteen. Right? So thirteen, you will regroup as one hundred and three tens. 
So in that way, you will carry 100 to the 100 column. And finally, you will multiply 100 by 3, which is equal to 300. In 300, you will add the one which you have uh, carried out. So it will be 4. So you will write 4 in the 100s column. So this will be 435. Is it clear, guys? How this? How is it solved? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's very good. Let's take one more example, guys. This was 145 by 3. Let's take one more example. It is 286. Multiply by two. Two hundred and eighty six. In two hundred and eighty six, there are two hundreds, eight tens, and six ones. So, what you will do first, you will multiply this number by ones first. So, two multiply by six. 2 multiplied by 6 equals what? 2 by 1, 2. 2 by 2, 4. 2 by 3, 6. 2 by 4, 8. 2 by 5, 10. And 2 by 6, 12. 2 by 6, 12. So in 12, guys, there are 2 digits. In 12, there are 2 digits. 1 and 2. One tens and two ones. So you will only write ones here and you will regroup the tens with the tens. Now you will multiply this two by eight tens. Two multiply by eight tens is equals to sixteen tens. Two multiply by eight tens equals to sixteen tens. In sixteen, you will have to add this one. In 16, you will have to add this one. So 16 plus one is equals to 17. 16 plus one equals to 17. 17, seven you will write here and one you regroup with the 100. Now you will multiply this two by Hundred. Two multiplied by two equals to four, and four plus one, five. So the answer is five hundred and seventy-two. Let's check it again. Two six twelve. Two year one year. Two year sixteen. Plus one seventeen. Seven year one year. Two two four four one five. So two eighty-six multiplied by two is equals to five hundred and seventy-two. Is it clear, guys? That's very good. So you need to remember only uh, the main points that whenever you multiply, always start multiplying the ones first. If you have two digit number, write the ones on the ones and carry over the tens, regroup it, regroup the 12 ones uh, into one tens or two ones, and then multiply the number with the tens. The second important thing you need to remember that when you multiply the number with the tens, so you should add, you have to add the number which you give carry. One ten you give to this ten. So after multiplying two by eight tens, this will be 16 tens, but you should add the one ten in 16. It will be 17. If you make it 16, so it will be wrong. You have to add this one as well. So this is, you should remember, okay? Then 17. In 17, 17 tens mean this is 100 in 7 tens. So 7 ten you write here, 100 you regroup with the 100. Then 2 by 2, 4 and 4 you will add this one and that will be 5. So 572 will be your answer. Clear guys? That's That's very good now.
we will go for question number one on page number 56. So guys, please take out your books, open your books, uh, page number 56. We are going to complete question number one from practice zone. Open page number 56 of your book. Did you open the book? Yes, yes, yes. That's very good, guys. Look here. This is 247 multiplied by 3. So this is you have to solve. 247 multiplied by 3, you have to solve by yourself and send the message, uh, send the answer in the chat box. 247 multiplied by 3. I just tell you how you have to solve. First, you will multiply this 3 by 7 once and check how many ones are there. If there are two digits, one digit you will write here, one digit you will regroup here. Then you will multiply this 3 by 4 and you will add this number in uh, the answer. You will add this number and write here. And finally, if there are two digits, so you will write here one digit. And uh, after multiplying with 100, you will add it and you will write the answer here. So 247 multiply by 3. And I am receiving the answers from students now. And uh, Muhammad Kashan is the first one who answered. Oh, very good. Yusuf also oh, with Kashan. This is very good. Ahmad Al Badi, very good. And uh, Taimullah also, very good. Omar Mohsen, uh, your answer is not correct. Okay, just check it again, solve it. Suleiman Lugeli. Again, solve, solve again. Very good, Muhammad Ali. No, Omar Mohsen. You are not. Umar Mohsen, check again and uh, solve it. You have to multiply 3 by 7. It is equal to 21. So 1 will be here, 2 will be carried, and 3 by 4 plus 2. In that way, you will have to solve. Abdul Mohid, very good. No, Suleiman Abdullah. I'm going to take one of the students. Those students who want to participate, raise your hand, please. Uh, Rakan. Yes, sir. 247 multiplied by 3. Yes. What? Question number one A. Multiply three by two forty seven. Twenty one. Twenty one. Okay. What should I write here? Put one is the four. Okay. Two. And two. Yes. Here. Yes. Now, 12. 12. And 2? 14. 12 plus 2? 14. 14. What should I write here? 4. And where, where should I write one? Put one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. One seven. Seven. That's very good. Thank you. Seven hundred forty one. Seven hundred forty one. That's very good. Let's check his answer, guys. Uh, I will take one more step for this. 
Uh, yes, sir. Your name, please. Three times seven equals twenty-one. Put one in the ones and put two in in fours. Okay, first tell me your name. Ryan Omar. Ryan Omar, change your uh, name from Zoom user to Ryan Omar, okay? Okay. And then tell me how you are going to multiply 247 by 3. Yes. Now. 3 times 7 mm -hmm. is equals 21. Put 1 here and put 2 in 10s. Okay. Then two times four times three times two plus four equals six three times six equals why three times six you have to multiply this three by the numbers you multiply seven it was 21 now it's time to multiply three by four this is carry you will not multiply this 40 one. 3 multiplied by 4 equals what? 40. No. 3 multiply 4. 3 multiply 4. 3 by 12. 1. 12. Very good. So should I write here 12? No. Then? Because if there are 2, mm -hmm. you have 2. Okay, so 12 plus 2, it right? It becomes 14. Put 4 here and 1 in the hundreds. That's very good. Now, after this? 3 times 2 equals 6. So we have 1 plus 1 and equals 7. 741. Perfect. Thank you, Rayan. You're welcome, sir. Exactly, guys. So this is the correct answer, and I received answers from Muhammad Mumin, Abdul Malik Hassan, and Abdul Moid as well. So, how you will solve it? Three multiplied by seven is equals to twenty. One, one here, two will be carried out. Okay, three multiplied by four equals to twelve. In 12, you will add that 2. So 12 plus 2 equals 14. 14, you will regroup as 104 tens. 4, you write here. 1, you will write here. 3 by 2, 6. And 6 plus 1 equals 2, 7. So the answer will be 741. Write it in your book, guys. 741 is the answer. Seven hundred and forty-one is the answer. Clear, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's very good. Now, the next question is one hundred and eighty-six plus five. One hundred and eighty-six plus, uh, sorry, one hundred and eighty-six multiplied by five. So for 186 multiplied by 5, I'm going to take one more student. Omar Mahsin. Yes, sir. Yes, Omar. 186 multiplied by 5. 5 multiplied by 6. This is 12 5. 5 multiplied by 6 equals? Five multiplied by six equals 13. 13. 30, 30, okay. But put the three in the in the T, put the three here, okay. and eight down here. Yes, and put the put zero down here. Okay. All right. Eight plus three plus eight. No. Eight and one. No, yes. no, no, no. Multiply five by eight first. 
multiply or addition? First multiply, then add right. three in eight, the answer. Eight, uh, five multiply by eight. Yes. Five multiply by eight equals four. T. Mm -hmm. Put the four in the here. No, you will have to add this three in forty. Three. Put three in the in put three in H in hundred. I just explain you, then you will tell me how you have to solve. Okay, Omar Mosin. I'm explaining this this question, not B. I'm explaining this one. Listen to me carefully and then tell me how to solve B. Three multiplied by seven, twenty-one. One here, two we will give we give here carry, right? Yes. Yeah. Then, then what we did? Then you have to multiply this three by four. This three yeah. you actually have to multiply by ones first, then tens, and then yeah. hundred. Yeah. Three multiply by seven equals to twenty-one. In twenty-one, right. there are two tens and one one. So two tens you regroup with tens. Two tens yeah. you regroup with tens. Now what you will do? You will multiply this three by four first. Three multiply by four equals to twelve tens. In twelve. Twelve tens. Twelve tens. But in twelve you will add this two because this is also ten. First you will multiply this. Three by four. Then you will add the number which you give carry. In number yes. twelve, you will give you will add two. So twelve plus two equals what? Fourteen. Fourteen also two digit. So write four here. Give one to this hundred. Yeah. Okay. Now what you will do? You have multiplied this three by seven. You have multiplied this three by four. Yes. Yeah. So now you will multiply this three by two. Two. So three by two six. In six, you will six. add this one. In six, you will add this one. So this will be seven. Yes. So the answer will be seven hundred and forty-one. So in the same way, you have to do question number one B as well. Sir, put the five in. I make line with the five in the one. Make it. This this line you are talking. Yes. Okay. Six, six, uh, five multiplied by eight. Five multiplied by eight. Equal, five multiplied by six. St start from the beginning. Five, five multiplied by six equals thirteen. Thirteen. Put the zero here. Mm -hmm. Thirteen. Put the three in the T. Okay. Thirteen. Three multiplied by eight. No. You need you don't need to multiply three because three is carry. Multiply the numbers. All right. Carry you have to add in the answer. Five, five multiply by eight. Mm. Multiply. Five multiply by eight are uh, forty. Put the zero here. Put the no. zero in here. Ah uh -huh. no! In forty you Put have. In forty, you have to add three. In forty, you have to add three. Add three. Three multiplied by forty. Five multiplied by eight, forty. In forty, you will yeah. add this three, which you give carry. Forty yeah. plus three equals what? Forty. Forty plus no. Forty plus three equals what? Forty-three. Forty-three. So forty-three have two digits, four and three. Three you yeah. will write here, and four you will write here. Yeah. Now multiply five by one. Five multiply by one five. And five plus four. Five plus four. Five plus four. Five and nine. I'm sorry, hand. Six, seven, eight, nine, nine. So nine hundred and thirty is the answer. Yes. Okay. All right, guys. I repeat again for you. Nine hundred and thirty. How nine hundred and thirty? You multiply 
5 by 6 first. 5 by 6, 30. 0 here, 3 here. 5 by 8, 40. And add 3, 43. 3 here, 4 you will root. 5 by 1, 5. And 5 plus 4, 9. So it is equal to 930. 930. So write 930. Nine hundred and thirty. This is the answer. Here, guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's very good. Now, for question number, uh, in the chat, I receive answer from Umar Nazar, Abdul Muhyid, Abdul Malik Hassan, Ahmad Al Badi, Muhammad Kashan, and Yusuf. Very good. And uh, this question we are going to solve now 280 multiplied by 2. And for that, I'm going to take one student. Abdul Muhyid. Yes, sir. Uh, 280 multiplied by 2. Um, 0, 2 are 0. Write 0 here. Okay. Now, 8, 2 are 16. Write 6. Okay. Carry 1. All right. Now, two twos are four, and four plus one equals to five. So the answer is 560? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Thank you. I'll take one more student. Suleiman uh, Al-Abedi. Yes, sir. 280 multiplied by 2. What? Question number C. Multiply 280 by 2. Okay. 0. We put here 0. Okay. And we'll put here 6. Okay. And the, and the hundreds will put 5. The question is 560. That's very good. Thank you. Exactly, guys. The answer is 560. When you multiply this 0 by 2, you will get 3. 2 multiply by 8, 16. In 16, 2 digits, 6, uh, you will write here. 16, you will regroup. 106, 10. 6 here, 1, you will regroup with 100. Then 2 by 2, 4. In 4, you will add 1. So that will be 5. Now, the last question, which is D. And for that, I'm going to take one student, uh, Yusuf. Yes, sir. 199 multiplied by 4. 4 by 9. Yes. 36. Very good. What should I write here? 6. 6. And three up. Three up, okay. Four by nine. Mm -hmm. Thirty-six. Okay. Plus three. Okay. Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine, what should I write here? Nine down. Mm -hmm. Three up. Okay. Four. Four by one. Four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Four, four plus three, seven. That's very good. Very good answer by you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, Ahmad and Badi. Yes, sir. 
Yes, Ahmad. Question number D. 100 multiply 199 by 4. 36. 36, okay. Why 36 six here? Down, hmm. 6 down and 3 up. Okay. 4, 9, 36. Hmm. Add 3, 39. Okay. 9 down, 3 hmm. up. Yeah, three up. Four, okay. one, four. Because one, four, one, four. And what about this three? Add three, seven. Very good. The answer is 796. 796. That's very good. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks. All right, guys. Let's check the answer. Muhammad Ali, Suleiman Tariq, Muhammad Talha, and Yusuf. I received answers from them. Abdul Malik Hassan also. They answered the question number D in the chat. So the answer is exactly 796. 9 multiplied by 4 equals. 36. Muhammad Mogin and Rakan, very good. What is very good? 9 by 4, 36. In 36, there are two digits, 3 and 6. So 6 you will write here, 3 you will regroup. Now you will multiply 4 by 9, 4 by 9, 36. In 36, you will add this 3. 4 multiplied by 9, 10, 36, 10. 36 plus 3, 10, 39, 10. 9 you will write here, 3, 10 you will regroup here. Uh, from 39 means, 300, 9 tenths, 300 you will regroup here, 9 you will be here. 4 by 1 equals to 4, 4 plus 3 equals to 7. So the answer is 796. Is it clear, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's very good. So write uh, the answer here. 560. This is 560. And this is 796. So this is the end of our class, guys. Inshallah, we'll meet you tomorrow. Until then, take care. Bye bye. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.